<clears throat> so let me go into a, a, I've got a section to start us off, portraits, uh, formal and candid. And as you can see, my interpretation of a portrait is a little loose. Uh, this, this I would call a portrait in that one of the most important things I, I, I find at weddings is, the, is to go for uh, the details, little things that you, that you might overlook, make very beautiful photos and, and if you're putting together an album with, with a few hundred pictures in it, just some very subtle, small little details, very nice close-up shots of those, really kind of flesh out an album, make it, make it look more like an experience as opposed to just pictures of people standing, you know, grinning at the camera, that kind of thing. This, uh, another one of Peggy uh, Dyer's uh, photos, you can see again the lens baby effect, uh, the, the background is falling well out of focus, the sweet spot's falling in the middle here. Very beautiful landscape shot. So it's a, it's a portrait, but it's got it's like an environmental portrait. Lots of lots of background. You can see this log cabin here, mountains in the background. I'm assuming uh, because Peggy's based in uh, Colorado, this this very much looks like a, a Colorado uh, landscape to me. And one one of the reasons I included this one, I really like this shot, is the land, is the uh, horizon. It's it's totally wonked. I mean, it's it's way off kilter, and it, my rule kind of with, with the horizons is either got to be straight or, or well, well tilted. If it's just a little bit tilted, all, it, to me it always looks like a mistake. You know, you, people are like, oh, the horizon's not straight. Whereas if, if you really throw it, throw it off kilter, then it, it becomes a, kind of a technique and, a, and a, you know, like, almost like a, a compositional element. You've got the, this line of trees bringing your eye into where they're... Uh, where they're uh, embracing, where they're, where they're kissing. And here's another shot. This is kind of a, a detailed shot, and then you've got these beautiful uh, sort of uh, technicolor uh, martinis or, or cosmos or whatever they are. And then it, it, even on their faces, the, the, the background is starting to fall slightly out of focus. A little, little bit sharper on her than him, but you, you can see that beautiful effect, and it's, it, it gives a very atmospheric look, and, and that's really quite popular and, and prevalent in, in some respects with, with wedding photography nowadays. People are looking in, in wedding photography, they're looking for something atypical. They're looking for uh, almost like a photojournalistic documentary style. They, they, they don't want this sort of standard, everybody staring stiffly into the camera. They, they really want to relive the experience by looking at the pictures. 